Police are looking for a man who opened fire in the middle of the afternoon today, hitting two people at a dart station near Fair Park. The shooting happened Tuesday. A surveillance photo shows the gunman holding a long gun. You see it there in the picture. People were in the area there with their children when the shooting happened. Fox 4's David Centendry spoke with a couple of witnesses and joins us now live. David. Yeah, this was a shooting on a dart rail platform that happened in broad daylight, and that shooter is still on the run. You hear like 10 pow, pow, 10 loud explosive shots that were definitely close by. A brazen afternoon shooting on the platform of Dart's MLK station near Fair Park Tuesday afternoon. It's where this mother, who does not want to show her face, was with her three and five year old boys. It was very scary because you don't know where the bullet's coming from and you see kids walking around. That's what did it for me. Two people were shot and transported to a hospital. Dart says this surveillance image that's been shared on social media is from one of its cameras and shows the suspect with a long gun. I'm scared for the children. Fox 4 spoke with a different mother. She does not want us to use her name, but says she saw the shooting while she was with her four-month-old girl. Like, bullets started flying, and you can see that junk grazing, so I hopped back on the train real fast, and I saw somebody laying there. Dart has not released information about what led to the shooting or info on the suspect. I mean, if you've seen some, be a witness. Go ahead and step up. We really need more police protection. Dart data reported 2,355 Class A offenses throughout the past 12 months. That includes assault, drug, robbery, theft, and other offenses. That's an increase. Dart's 2023 data revealed 1,995 offenses, and that was a 25% increase from 2022. Keep in mind, however, Dart says ridership is increasing, and in 2023, it hired 100 trans at security officers to assist DART police. So more crimes might be getting reported or spotted. There's no place that's safe. For riders who witnessed Tuesday's shooting from the DART platform, it's a scary reminder to stay vigilant. It definitely lets you know that people are like really trigger happy and they starting to get a little out of hand with it. Again, no arrests have been made at this point in time, and DART has not provided any sort of medical update on those two victims who were shot and transported to a hospital.